This is Paul, Ephesians 6. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, verse 11, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Yes. Spiritual wickedness in high places. <laughs> Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand. <laughs> stand, therefore, having your learns gore girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. <laughs> Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Now this uh, armor of God, yes, mm -hmm. You know, uh, a lot of people have said that I owe you something, mm -hmm. but um, I don't. I don't owe you anything. Now, you owe me uh, the enforcement of the laws. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to make sure that the truth, yes, is that it's an actual crime to issue two reference numbers. <laughs> and when I document lawsuits, yeah, <laughs> I'm actually going to use the court system. Now, it seems that those that are employees of the government thought that the longer you keep me from my family, yes, <laughs> the more that you're helping yourselves, but it's an actual mail fraud. Yes. And then there's a question of, did I receive any mail that I've been deprived of? Yes. See, a long time ago when we had a post office box in Airway Heights, somebody had mentioned that somebody had talked, yes, and that those in Homeland Security decided to make it look like I had committed crimes when I didn't. You tried to make it look like I was a domestic abuser or a child abuser or when I wasn't. You remember that expungement on Guam? Yes. <laughs> And um, you decided to issue that dissolution of marriage without me getting notice of court hearings? Yes. My record was expunged, and I'm not a child abuser, and then you deprived me of my sons for the last seven years and eight months? Mm -hmm. And you thought I would be nice. <laughs> you know, um, there's this issue of can and cannot. Mm -hmm. You cannot enforce the laws because you'd have to arrest your own relatives. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a word for that um, in in legal jargon, yes, where you have a genetic attachment to those that are employees of the government, mm -hmm. and there's certain laws that prevent that kind of thing of happening. Now, um, I'm going to want my kids today, okay? That would be all the genetic kids, yes. And any little boy or girl made from my genetics, yes, that want me to be their adoptive father. Because mm -hmm. I mentioned the idea of using the wombs of women without their knowledge. Yes. Now, somebody said, well, we do this so that we do not see the actual child. Yes. Because they're not our genetics. Mm -hmm. And since they're not, we can abuse them. Oh, we can use them. Oh. <laughs> and eventually they grow up after decades. And we put them in the government so that no one knows that the actual genetics of the employees of the government are those in the family. <laughs> and then the family controls the government. <laughs> now. Why don't you get me the genetics of those in the post office today? Mm -hmm. Because I've seen some of the postal carriers. Yes. And they look like they're in the dog family. Mm. They're not quite actual persons. Mm. And then when you go through the GPS location of every employee of the post office, mm -hmm. why don't you get me their actual assets? <laughs> they're, uh, they're, their IRS uh, tax form. You know, could you call Ogden, Utah? 
There should have been a large amount of mail that took place on April 15th of 2019. Yes, where all of those individuals that said, well, I better send in my actual taxes so that they have to have a day and time stamp from the post office. Yes. What happens when you send your taxes in on April 16th instead of April 15th? You know, quite often when you're sending your taxes to the IRS, yes, 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 some of you would say, well, they don't know, they never see, mm -hmm. they don't have any idea when I send it in. <laughs> but these different locations where the citizens of the United States include all these forms and then usually there's a check written to the IRS, yes. Most people wait until the April 15th deadline because they do not want the withdrawal from their actual bank account. Just get me the signature cards of every post office employee Boop. of every bank account where the United States federal government withdraws. Yes. The actual taxation, yes, of those employees of the post office. Now, let's say... You decided that you just can't enforce the laws today. And I decided that I was going to sue for the mail fraud. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then I was going to sue for the refusal to enforce the laws. Right. And then I was going to sue the United States Postal Service for knowingly allowing for any taxation to be paid from a bank account of the wrong signatory. Yes. Because the signature on your IRS forms does not match the signature on the check on the signature card of the bank that withdraws the funds. <laughs> now, as we go through mm -hmm, the actual taxation, yes, we do. <laughs> Why don't you get me <laughs> all the actual portals on where you could pay? Yes. And then oh, electronic signature. Oh, <laughs> seems that the post office employees mm -hmm, even... Oh, well, call the Postal Union, okay? Call the Post Office. 